Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to discuss something interesting and that is the origins of the Indo-European. So where the uh, Proto-Indo-European homeland lies or the Indo-European homeland. And this, there have been a lot of theories regarding this. There was one theory that was way out of, you know, it was way out of the range of reality. That was the out of India theory. Now it's been proven that that's not true. There's another theory and that's the out of Iran theory. And that's not true either as all genetic evidence has proven that the actual Proto-Indo-European homeland was uh, on the Pontic Caspian steppe in what is today Ukraine with the Yamnaya people. And now I will take a look at that right now. So the origins of the Yamnaya people lie in two distinct populations and you can see on this PCA and that are they are the eastern hunter-gatherers highlighted here as well as the Caucasus hunter-gatherers and both are highlighted here and both of these populations mix to form the Yamnaya people. Now some people consider Iran Calcolithic uh, to be the eastern half of the Yamnaya people but this isn't true as the as there is no evidence for Iranians moving into the steppe and uh, uh, Indo-Europeanizing it. The, the truth is that the steppe was Indo-Europeanized by eastern hunter-gatherers by a mixture of eastern hunter-gatherers and Caucasus hunter-gatherers and not Iran Calcolithic as recent genetic evidence has shown. What this means is that the Indo-European homeland could not have been in Iran despite being an Iranian nationalist myself, I do not lie. And in this video I just took a look at where the Indo-European homeland lies. So there was a video, sorry, there was, there have been many st studies proving that the Indo-European homeland lies in the Pontic Caspian steppe. But the most recent study was not a at all 2019 and it showed that the Yamnaya people are ancestral to all Indo-European speaking people than all Indo-European speaking people with the exception of the Sinhalese people have Indo-European blood, have Yamnaya blood and this is where it originated and now I will get into how it reached Iran. So first of all, there was the Yamnaya culture and from this we got the cold recorded Vir culture and then from the recorded Vir culture we got the Srubnaya, Sintashta and Andronovo cultures in that order and these cultures were ancestral to the Indo-Iranians and their origins lay in what is today Kazakhstan. So this is where they were. They were in contemporary Kazakhstan and they were very powerful. They were chariot riders. They were a very powerful and nomadic people and they met up with a, another southerly people. Then Iranian, a native Iranian people it's known as the Iranian farmers of the Bima culture. So these Indo-European speakers moved down from the steppes and hybridized with the native Iranian farmers of the Bima culture to form the early Iranians and these early Iranians clustered closest to Yagnubis as shown on this PCA but yeah so yeah this is how they got this is how they formed and this is where they got and there was a process of hybridization known as beamakization and this is proved by scholarly evidence in form of journals as well as in the form of recent genetic evidence as the beamak sample has been uh, sorry as a Yaz related sample has been sequenced and it was 58% step and 38% Neolithic Iranian so 38% Neolithic slash Calcolithic Iranian but yeah that's essentially it for this video and then these Bimakized Iranians moved to Iran and further hybridized with the native uh, of natives of the Plato to form the contemporary Iranian population so yeah that's essentially it for this video please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching